What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today Apple has just released iOS 15.5 to the public. And in this video, we will be discussing every brand new feature found in the update. If we take a look at the build number, we see it's 19F77. Not that significant, it's just telling us how much work Apple has put in to iOS 15.5. So if we take a look at the official release notes of iOS 15.5, we see three changes and only three. There are actually a little bit more changes found in the update. So the changes include wallets now enable Apple Cash customers to send and receive money from their Apple Cash card. Apple Podcasts include a new setting to limit episodes stored on your iPhone and automatically to delete the older ones. And a bug fix with, with home automation triggered by people arriving or leaving may fail. Fortunately, we have more changes. If we go into a wallet, we can see that we have the request and send buttons inside of Apple Cash. So if I wanted to request money from someone, I can do it straight from the Apple Wallet app and the send. I could do it straight from the Apple Wallet instead of having to go into iMessage to do it. And inside of iMessage, the Apple Cash button has been rebranded to Apple Cash. Before it would say Apple Pay, but now it says Apple Cash. We have a little change with focus modes inside the code of iOS 15.5. We are assuming there are gonna be major focus changes with iOS 16, as inside the code for focus, there will be a new pop-up saying that you need to update your phone in order to use the focus. Now we're gonna see how much better iOS 15.5 is compared to iOS 15.4.1. IOS 15.5 is a good update to update to as performance is not affected at all. These numbers don't really mean anything if they're really close, but if they're pretty far away, that means stay away from this update. Another reason of why you should update is the security updates. I'm recording this video before iOS 15.5 releases, and every single update there are some security updates. If there's a really major security update, I will make another video explaining why you should update and I'm assuming that there's something with the iPhone 12 being fixed and the M1 Max. Now, what is next for Apple? So I'm assuming iOS 15.5 is gonna be released 17th, which is when you'll probably see this video. And I think that we're gonna get iOS 15.6 beta one on the week of the 23rd, possibly on the 24th. And of course, we are getting iOS 16, the first developer beta on the 6th. And I will be downloading the developer betas on my main device, the iPhone 13. So you know how all the features are and how they are all like with an average consumer. Now there are not that many new changes in iOS 15.5, but there are some new glyph icons as you can see in Safari. If you search, there's a new find page button right there. There are not that many brand new features in iOS 15.5, as you can see, mainly just backend fixes and security updates. Performance for me seems to be a little bit better than iOS 15.4.1 but it doesn't tell the whole story there. I'm just saying my experience with iOS 15.5 and 15.4.1, and I believe that iOS 15.5 is a lot better than iOS 15.4.1. It's pretty much the same story with macOS Monterey. There are not that many new changes and features. I will show you the release notes that Apple has put out for macOS Monterey 12.4. So I have the change log right here. So basically it's the same podcast setting and the port for Studio Display Firmware Update 15.5 for the Studio Display. It's nice that we are finally getting this update for the Studio Display, which I will not be able to review as I do not have a Studio Display. I have just a regular monitor over there. All right, thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends, and I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye.